This video is all about iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro camera settings after the iOS 26 update. So guys, watch this video to see all the new camera app icons and the redesigned settings inside compared to iOS 18. In iOS 26, you have to slide your finger to switch from photo to video mode or vice versa. Try this free app to cut and merge between parts of a video. This is the iPhone 14 Pro. I'm opening up the camera now and yeah, it looks pretty much the same as the iPhone 15 Pro. Same kind of layout, same way to swipe between the different camera modes. Nothing really new here. You just got to tap that little icon in the top right corner to open up the settings like flash, live photo, timer, exposure, styles, filters and aspect ratio. Same deal on the iPhone 14 Pro too. OK, let's talk about video mode real quick. When you're in the video screen, up in the top left corner, you'll see the resolution and frame rate settings. So yeah, it's super easy to switch between HD and 4K without even opening the settings app. And over on the top right, you can mess with a few more options, like turning the flash on or off, adjusting the exposure, or turning on action mode if you're filming something that's got a lot of movement. It's all right there and super easy to get to. All right, to switch to cinematic mode, just swipe over to the right until you hit video mode. You'll see the resolution and frame rate settings that same as the regular video setup. Up in the top right corner, you can mess with the flash, adjust the aperture, and tweak the exposure for your cinematic shots. This works on your iPhone running the latest iOS 26. These are the settings for slow-mo and time-lapse video. If you swipe to the right, you'll get to portrait mode, spatial video, and pano for 360 video shots on your iPhone. To take a portrait photo, just tap the portrait tab in the camera app. As you can see on my screen, you can scroll through different filters by spinning the wheel. It's super easy to try out a bunch of looks. If you want to dive deeper, check out the video above for more details. Also, there's a new spatial video mode on the iPhone 15 Pro. It's not available on the iPhone 14 Pro or any earlier models. So yeah, iPhone 15 Pro users are lucky. All right, guys, hope this video helped you out. Thanks for watching.